Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega, Mega Freak 400, and we're still in summer. Uh, rather, we started summer not too long ago. I do apologize that I haven't had one of these videos up in a while. Uh, the reason for that is I've been kind of busy. I've had a hard time trying to find a record uh, more of these videos, and yeah, I, I do apologize. And part of the reason I would do more Ask Mega was because it was easier to record that. Um, though at this po that point, uh, that series now done. Uh, so yeah, I do apologize for those who really liked Harvest Moon, uh, that it's been on, that there was a short hiatus, but, uh, usually I do get my videos up pretty, you know, rapid, it's just, you know, I, I the further I get into college, the busier I get, so I, I, I do apologize, but, um, either way, though, back to growing vegetables, uh, it's gonna be a while, because summer is actually the... Or be, take a while to start growing or watering our plants because summer is actually probably the busiest month for growing vegetables. Um, because you're gonna uh, with spring the vegetables grow and then you pick pick them and they're gone. Here the vegetables will always remain, but you'll just grow more fruit off of them like corn or tomatoes. Um, and you'll want to get a lot of it because you can get to, uh, quite a bit of money off of corn and tomatoes because of that fact. Because of the fact that you only need to buy them once. Uh, whereas with like, you know, potatoes, you get money back on them, but you still every time you plant tomatoes you, or potatoes, you get, you know, you have to spend 300. Here you spend 300 and you can get as much tomatoes as you can get in a season. So it's definitely worth, um, you know, planting. And it's summer is definitely the best month for uh, busiest month for planting. Uh, later months, like fall and winter, you, there's only one plant, type of plant, so it's not going to be nearly as busy or nearly as bustling. Um, but animal, uh, do, using our animals to get products will probably start to become more of the norm. Uh, for now, though, um, yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of uh, shuffling back between feeding our chickens for now and then watering our plants. I was picking some of these uh, flowers because they're good gifts. Which we'll need to give some gifts to Anne, because we want to make her happy. Now, the way to... I don't know if I mentioned this, but the way to get, um... Maybe I did mention it, but the way to get a girl to like you, you keep giving her gifts and stuff, but eventually she'll... Her heart will change colors. Right now, it should be white. Uh, the more stuff you... more you pay attention to her, the more you give her, eventually her heart's gonna start to change color. Um, I think the next one's blue, and then... I think the best heart is, I believe, pink. And once she has a pink heart, um... Well... I believe it's pink, but once she has that kind of heart, you can, uh, you know, propose to her. Now, then again, again, we still need a kitchen, so I need to work on uh, cutting down wood to be able to propose to her. Also, I'm going to start trying to make friends with some other uh, of the villagers, particularly the mailman, Harris, and also I'm going to be trying to be friends with um, Anne's brother, Gray. Now, Gray and Harris are both uh, interesting because they both are rivals, but not for Anne. Harris will fall in love with Maria. And Gray will fall in love with Potpourri. So if I actually become friends with them, I can get them to marry and have their own kids. Uh, and here's the master of the bakery. He's fishing. Which I think, I think maybe the bakery is closed. Because usually you only see him in the bakery. Um, but yeah, summer is a pretty fun month overall. Um, quite a bit that you can do in this month. And like again, you can get quite a bit of money off of here. Um. Once I start getting my pl uh, tomatoes growing, I'll probably uh, purchase a cow. Because c cows are the best money maker once you start getting milk from them. And there's a monkey. I like monkeys. Kind of odd that you find monkeys back here, though. You wouldn't think they'd normally, you know, uh, coexist. And I'm also going to try and be friends with these guys, too. Uh, and the more you talk to them, the more language they'll remember, because they don't usually talk to humans all that much. Um... You do want to be friends with the Harvest Spirits. They can do, again, if you're doing the Karen side quest, you'll definitely want to be friends with them. Uh, there's also other things that they can do that's nice just to be friends. Plus, it's just nice to be friends with everyone anyway. Um, you know, when you make new friends, good things happen. Um, but yeah, this, um, most of this month is going to just be focusing on growing plants and making friends uh, with people because, um, I, I want to start getting, because the thing is, I, I said I'm going to do this for two years, and maybe I'll, like, show some uh, footage after those two ga two uh, in-game years, but I kind of want to uh, get married and maybe have a kid. What I might end up doing, though, is showing things afterwards, like, if I don't have enough time to show a kid, because I do want to show, uh, you can, spoilers, have a kid in this game. 
but um, either way, what else has been? What else can I uh, talk about? I guess other simulation games uh, in general. The thing about this game is you would think it would be really boring to play, but it's not. Like, I get really addicted to it, but there's only, there's certain games, I've, I think I've said before, there's certain games I like that are like this, and some games I don't. For example, games, because usually I like to have a goal. I do like games that you have a goal, or some, you know, linear in that way that there's a goal. Um, but, like, I'm not a huge fan, like, there's the whole Minecraft phase um, right now. It's not that Minecraft's a bad game, I think it's interesting. I wouldn't play it, personally. Partly because with Minecraft, it's, uh, there's no real goal. I mean, yeah, you can mess around and do cool things, but, like, I don't know. I, I like having a goal in the game. You could say, well, you make your own goals, but I don't know. I, I guess I just like to have, um, no, it sounds a little selfish, but, like, I like, not really selfish, but I like to feel like, oh, I get, I have, like, some kind of reward. Some, something even as dumb as I say the princess, um, as fun as it is to goof around, I guess there's no drive to goof around if there's no, you know... I like things when they there's an ending to them. I like to have a conclusion. If there's no real conclusion, it, it feels like... You know, it kind of actually goes with, you know, procrastination to an extent. Um, part of the reason we procrastinate is because uh, there's a... I don't know if it's a hormone, but something I actually read about that, uh, you know... When it's released, it gives you the drive to keep working on something, right? It's kind of like a horse with a carrot. You put a carrot and it's a reward, and the, and the horse keeps going to, uh, you know, finish up running. Um, so, the closer you are to the goal, the more that hormone is released. The less there is, the less drive there is. So, if there's no goal, there's less drive to do anything, I guess, is the thing, for me at least. If, if you don't, if it's more just I'm messing around, okay, that's fun, but if there's no, like, end result, I kind of like a game to have an end result. That's not saying that there has to be. I just, that's the way I prefer things. Um, personally, at least. But yeah, with simulation games, some of them, like this game, it seems like there's at least enough of a goal that I can feel like playing it. Um, there's other games out there, like I said, I think I said before, Brain Age is not really a simulation game, but uh, Brain Age is one of those games that it's cool, but like, eventually I get sick of it. Same with Animal Crossing. Uh, I, I really do like Animal Crossing, but that's another game that uh, seems... It seems like the goal that there is in that game, which is basically getting all the stuff, is way either way too far off, or you can do it via time traveling and it just doesn't like, become fun anymore. Um, it's still a great game, just... I don't know. For me, I'm not as into it as other uh, franchises. Um, and then there's games like Pet Simulators, like uh, Nintendogs, which I... I don't know. I... I I'm not really into them. I've heard they're good, and I've heard from people that, you know, I mean, they're, it's not like they're not well made. Uh, from what I've seen, like, of Nintendo Dogs Plus Cat, it's a well made game. It's just not one that. Um, you know, sometimes there's really no. Ex there is an explanation for it, but sometimes it just goes simply, I, I just like this for, you know, I just like it, you know. There may be a very simple explanation of it, just for whatever reason, I like this one better, this this kind of thing better than another kind of thing. Because uh, I was thinking of, like, movies where, or, like, even with people, like, you, um, you know, relations, relationships are funny things. There's t sometimes someone can, uh, say something that really ticks you off, and then if someone else says it, uh, that you actually are really good friends with, they say it, it doesn't tick you off, and it's just... I, you know, I'm trying to, I've been thinking, well, why is that the case? There has to be a reason, and there probably is, but, you know, sometimes the ex reason is so slight that, it's, or so I ingrained in our psyche that it's just like, well, sadly, that's, that's just the way it is. And I don't like to say that because I do feel there's a reason for everything, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you just gotta be like, sometimes I gotta admit to myself that's just the way things are. And it's not necessarily a bad thing that that's the way things are. And hello, doggy. Um, I, don't know, I feel like I'm being depressing now. Well, it's not to Harris. Harris is always a good guy. Makes us happy when skies are gray. But um, yeah, I guess the thing is, as much as you know, sometimes as much as you can discuss something and uh, debate, discuss opinion, and come up with conclusions, uh, eventually, like you know, with what why this game, why I prefer this game over another uh, simulation game, sometimes the very, it's v such a simple, just preferential issue, preference issue that's not really just based on just, well, I just like it better, 
you know, that that uh, the reason is so small that it doesn't even, you know, make much of a difference. I mean, because the thing is, I guess my thing is there. There's a reason. I just can't think of why. Like, um, you know, I would like this game over. Well, not exactly. I guess I could if I really started to analyze it over, like over Sim City, for example. I prefer this game over like Sim City because they're kind of similar. But I guess a, I like being able to actually move a character and do interact with people as opposed to Sim City. Um, you know, I mean, they both kind of have a routine. Oh, okay, I gotta do this. Gotta do this to keep going. Uh, kind of mode of thought, um, but this game's a little bit more fast-paced, and there's more to do as well. So, so I guess, I guess the thing is, there's definitely uh, you can definitely uh, come up with a reason, but you have to actually sometimes with some things you have to analyze them way too much because the the reasoning is so uh, small. But anyway, I, I kind of rambled on there for a little bit. Um, so actually, yeah, uh, another thing I want to mention, you definitely want to check the weather channel every day in the summer for sure, because there's a certain weather pattern that only appears in the summer, which there's, you'll need to be aware of, uh, for some very good reasons. Uh, and the vegetable festival is tomorrow, cool. And well, that's why I didn't save my potato for it, though I doubt it will win, but, uh, hopefully it will. You should enter something. I think your vegetables are pretty good. Have you had them? Though I guess I do sell them, so maybe you bought them off the seller. We never really know where the seller sells his veg or get, puts, uh, takes it, our vegetables to, where, what they're used for. Um, but uh, something else I didn't really mention: you can actually let your animals, uh, including your chickens, out and let them roam around the farm. I don't, partly because I'm, I never really. I think if you, like chickens will just lay the eggs around the, the field, maybe. But like I usually like to. Um, Keep close eye on my animals, so yeah, I do like to imprison them. I'll let them out occasionally, but I don't know. I just, I, I guess I get a little bit nervous when my animals are out. I'd rather than them be inside. Um, but if you're outside, for example, and you have a grass field, your cows can graze on the grass, and you don't have to feed them fodder. Um, and something else about grass is um, you can actually cut your grass and be able to uh, get fodder from it. Now, um, actually, at this point, I just. Uh, I, I'm not. I, I kind of forgot about doing that. But yeah, you can cut your grass, and that's actually a good thing is to cut grass, um, because then you don't have to pay for fodder. The only thing is, you can only plant grass during the summer. I believe it also grows during the fall, but you have to have it already planted. And let's make another chicken. Not sure whose egg that was. If it was guys, Bowser's, or KFC's. But um, either way, though, they're all from the lineage of Gaia. So, uh, it's either gonna be. Gaia's son, uh, Gaia's grandson, or Gaia's great grandson. Oh wait, no, wait. Ga Gaia's son? Is no, it wouldn't be Gaia's son. It'd be Gaia's. Well, it could be Gaia's son. No, it could be. Well, it could be a multiple things though. I could go a little bit further than that actually, because it if it's Ga it's Gaia's son if Gaia had the kid, it'd be Gaia's grandson if Bowser had the kid, it'd be Gaia's great grandson. If yeah, if um, what's this called? Uh, KFC had the kid. So yeah, okay, I guess that would be all of them. And something else I should mention: uh, you probably I haven't been, but you should probably use your horse a bit more because I believe the more you run it, the faster it'll be, which will be good for uh, the horse race if you ever want to participate in the horse race. Uh, which there is one coming up, uh, not until fall, but it is coming up eventually. Uh, you can also brush your horse, which I haven't really been doing either, but it does make it happier. And yeah, you come to understand a lot about each other. Or just make it faster. So yeah, I don't like the fact that Cliff is hanging around there. Because he's the, he's my rival for Anne, and I don't really want him hanging around Anne. She's my girl, got it, guy? Um. But yeah. And there's Harris again. I like talking with everyone every day. So do I. Here, have a flower. Or not. I'll get you a fish instead. Maybe. But yeah, Harris is... I, don't know, I, I I like Harris. He's pretty awesome. I guess because you see him quite a bit, you usually like Harris. Uh, or I usually like Harris because I see him quite a bit uh, throughout the day, so I just get used to seeing him. And I have a fish. I believe... Supposedly if you throw a um, large fish in the pond where the kappa was, you can get another berry that's a regular power berry,
but I'm not positive on that. So, um, and I haven't been able to, I haven't caught large fish. If I ever catch a large fish, I'll do that, but I'll just test it out since, or whenever, whenever I catch a large fish again. Because I believe, um, if the blue power berry's power doesn't work, I believe I read that the, uh, regular power berry, uh, I do think you get another power berry from the, regardless from the kappa, but I believe that one does have the effect of not getting sick during the rain. Um, and now it's nighttime, so let's head to the bar. Since I'm 21 now, so I can drink. Though, actually, my alcohol tall well, in this game, won't really, really do, but alcohol tolerance is pretty low, so if you drink too much, you'll eventually get drunk and pass out and have to go back to bed. Ha. Ah, I'm not old enough yet to remember bygone days with sadness, but I have begun to feel sentimental. What? That's like the most complex thing I've ever heard in this game so far. And, oh, I guess I never talked to you before. Yeah, if you never talk to someone before, they'll basically give a generic, oh, you're taking on the farm, even though it's been like a month. Uh, which means I lost my flower. I was going to give it to you as a gift. Oh, well. Either way, though, let's uh, go to bed. Call it a day. We, we've been working pretty hard, getting ready to get our tomatoes to grow and get us some money. Um, but that's about all for today, so uh, next day, or next tomorrow, or tomorrow, rather, we shall be... Or not tomorrow, but next day, next video, we'll be uh, continuing to work on growing our plants. So, until next time, I have been Make400, and I'm reminding you to love thy tomato.